The Witcher 3 initially is a game that I did not really enjoy that much, but the more I'm starting to play it, the more I start to see the charm and why this game is so popular and why it's won so many Game of the Year awards. Now I haven't put that much playtime into the game and I think I really do need to experience more of the game to really give a full opinion on the game, but I can definitely see myself really liking this game even though it may not be my favourite and like I said initially I didn't really like the game at all. Now when it comes down to why I didn't really like the game and why I wasn't drawn into the game too much, I think it has a lot to do with the story. This comes to the part of the video where might trigger a lot of people. I personally don't really like story games or story in a game, at least not when the game is focused all around story. Now, of course there's games out there that are focused all around story, The Walking Dead, uh, Tell Teams, or all Telltale series like The Walking Dead, uh, different things like that. They, what do they have? Like They have like a Batman series, a Game of Thrones series, they've got all different sorts of series going on with Telltale. Um, and The Last of Us is a very popular PS4 exclusive which I cannot play which is actually a game that I did really want to play. That's actually the one story game that I actually do want to try out uh, because it seems very interesting even though I could just watch the videos on it online but I kind of want to experience it for myself but unfortunately I don't really have a PlayStation 4. But yeah, The Witcher 3 is a game that I was very excited going into because it was a game that I saw a lot about and it seemed like a game that I would really enjoy. It seemed like this big open world RPG with a lot of shit to do, monsters to kill, this and that, and it seemed very interesting and overall the gameplay side of things is a lot of fun, but the story kind of took me out of it, which is kind of funny. I don't know, I think it's just because the fact that I felt as though I was playing the game and I just felt as though I was doing nothing. I was just sitting there a lot of the times. A lot of the shit kind of bored me, uh, strangely enough. Even though the story does seem quite good, I'm not saying the story's shit. The story actually reminds me quite a lot of the stuff with Game of Thrones, like these big black knight things, I'm not too sure the name of them, like coming up or something and they're big menacing and fierce and they kind of remind me uh, of White Walkers from Game of Thrones. Uh, kind of like that scenario uh, as well as it's set in like medieval times and different things. Uh, but overall, the game seems very interesting, the story of the game seems very interesting, and it does seem like a good game for story, and it is praised for the story in the game, but personally, I just wanted to play the game for the gameplay. I am not a big person on wanting story, especially in games. If I want a story, I'm gonna go watch a TV show, or a movie, or go do something else, because generally when I play video games, I want to play a video game, not sit there and um, watch a cutscene about a video game, or watch a cutscene about a story that I really generally don't give two shits about. So yeah, The Witcher 3, it seems to have a pretty good story, but I just generally didn't really want to pay attention to it, I kinda just wanted to get into the gameplay and fight monsters or fight whatever, and whenever I got into the gameplay and got to fight shit, that was so much fun, that was actually a lot of fun, so it was, and fighting monsters in this game, I love the combat, I like fucking adore the combat in this game, I cannot praise it enough, I love the way you dodge around and move and have these different abilities and different things, there's like a shield ability that you have that is extremely useful useful for fighting against monsters. You can put that on and then if you get hit, all that happens is you take no damage, it goes away, then you have to wait for it to regen, but by the time you get hit, usually if you're playing it smart and dodging around different things, that thing has already been recharged, so it's ready for you to use again. So if you get hit again, then you don't take any damage and it just seems so overpowered and it was just so much fun finding different ways to beat these monsters and it, it's just a very fun game, gameplay wise, and that's why I can see the charm and really why a lot of people like the game. But also the charm and the characters and the story and everything's like that, the love relationships going on within the story. I don't know really any of the characters' names, I don't even think I know my character, like the main character's name. Is his name Gerald or? No, that can't be right, I forget his name. Uh, I, I, as you can probably tell, I didn't really pay too much attention to the story, but there was a lot of interesting moments from um, what I've played so far, I've only played a short bit, I've got into, like, I've got through this cave and fought this, like, rock golem guy, which is, like, the very start of the game, I'm just about past that, uh, so I am very close to the start of the game, but from what I can tell already, the story is very good, but I don't like the way that you can't, like, not have the cutscenes and different things going on because of course you have to respond different things and it is a natural part of the game and one thing I really do like about it is the choices that you make, the things that you say will affect 
the people's opinion on you and people will treat you differently depending on the responses you give them. That is something really cool, but it is something that I just didn't really have the patience for and didn't really care about. Whenever I'm playing a video game, I care about progression. I care about something to keep me grounded within the game and something that is just, I know that I've done or accomplished. When I'm paying attention to a story, I feel as though I haven't accomplished anything. I know when I'm playing games like Skyrim, I'm leveling up, getting more gold, getting more loot, smithing, lockpicking, doing all this shit to level my character up, and I know whenever I come back to that game, that accomplishments and that shit that I found within the game is going to be there when I come back, and that is a great feeling of accomplishment in a game, to keep me playing the game, keep me going, and keep me feeling like my time spent in this world and in this game is worthwhile. But whenever I'm paying attention to a story, I kind of just feel like it's not worthwhile. I like watching movies and TV shows and different things like that. Generally, it's a good time if the movie or TV show or whatever is entertaining and it does have a good story to go along with it. Uh, a lot of TV shows I do like, uh, so there is. But uh, overall, when it comes to playing video games, I just don't generally want a story or at least a big story. I said before, one of the problems that I had with Sea of Thieves is that there wasn't enough story uh, to the quest and different things and it isn't really a story game, it's not really supposed to have too much of a story, but what I meant by that is I'm comparing it to Skyrim. Skyrim has these little things you come across within the world, like you come across a person on your travels and you speak to them and they tell you something about the lore or about this place or something and they tell you that maybe they need some money or something like that and they ask you questions or they tell you shit or you can ask them questions and they tell you even more shit and it's interesting, it's short, it's quick, it's straight to the point and it keeps me engaged. It's simple little things like that that I like. Them types of stories, not a big fleshed out fucking story that I generally don't really care about. Um, and when it comes to the main story of the game, it's not like there's cutscenes, it's not like there's bits in the game where you feel as though you can't really do anything. Generally when characters are talking, you can else respond and the responses are always there to make it feel like you're not watching a big long cutscene where you feel as though you're not really doing anything and it almost is like watching a TV show or a movie but it feels like you can do something, it feels like you can move about and different things like that while your character's talking or while another character's talking to you. It just Skyrim and different games like that does it in a different way to keep it interesting to me and overall The Witcher 3 is a game that I can see very good and a game that I can see that I am going to enjoy a lot and I definitely think I'm going to put a lot of time into the game. Um, But at the same time just a lot of the cutscenes and the game and different things just, I don't know, kind of bored me a bit and it's not to say the story's bad, I think it's just more of a personal thing. It is actually a personal thing because I know a lot of people disagree with me and will disagree with me on this. Um, I'm not taking anything away from the game. I'm not saying the game's shit. I'm not saying the story shit. The story actually seems very good, so it does. But personally, I just... I don't know. I just... There's something about it that I just didn't like too much. Anyway, guys, it's pretty much all I had to talk about in this video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.